there! Here are your top news stories from eWeek. A new update for Microsoft's Outlook web app is cutting a few steps in the process of working with email attachments. A new document collaboration feature spares users from having to go through the steps of downloading Office attachments, powering up Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, and then saving and reattaching the files. Microsoft Exchange's Steve Chu, Senior Product Marketing Manager, and Joey Masterson, Senior Program Manager, explain that now users have the ability to edit a document inside the Outlook web app and attach this edited document to an email response in just a few clicks. A new European Union law allows citizens to request the removal of negative information about them that turns up in Google web searches. Now Google has begun the first of the deletions, which is spurring loud criticisms from content producers who believe that the practice is wrongly changing web history. Robert Peston, a BBC economics editor, recently spoke to The Telegraph and expressed his frustration about the deletion of several of his blog posts under the new law. Peston explained that the removal of these posts changes history and people can't learn what truly happened. Even though Google Glass units have only been available to early Glass Explorer beta testers in the United Kingdom since June 23rd, they have already been banned from UK movie theaters. The Independent reports that theater owners are worried that some patrons wearing the devices will use them to record films and pirate them online. According to a study conducted by the Pew Research Center and published on July 3rd, four major trends threaten the future of the Internet. Pew canvassed more than 1,400 Internet experts and identified these threats as world governments placing increased restrictions to online information access, the productization of various aspects of the Internet, citizens increasing concern with corporate and government surveillance, and finally the efforts of citizens and businesses to fix the problem of information leakage and the sheer longevity of information on the Internet, which could result in barriers to information sharing. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.